On the eve of D-Day, a couple of World War II soldiers are sent to take out a specific Nazi stronghold. When they get there, they realize that there are some experiments going down and things start to get a little weird. Let's talk about this movie. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Overlord. Before we get too far into this, my name is Anthony A. Perez and if you're new here to the channel I'd love for you to click that subscribe button and stick around for the journey that this channel is. I do all kinds of things like movie reviews, TV reviews, vlogs, and all kinds of other fun stuff. So if you're interested in sticking around here on the channel please do click that subscribe button and I'm very happy to be welcoming my guest here on the channel once again, Rashaji Reviews. A big thanks to him for being here in this video as usual. Always a pleasure, my friend, and uh, we're going to be hearing from him in just a little bit, but you guys can find the link to his channel down below in the description box. Let's get into my initial thoughts on Overlord, a movie from 2018 that I could say I really thoroughly enjoy. This is one of those movies that I missed out on seeing on theaters. I remember seeing uh, the marketing for it, the poster, the trailer. It looked so cool. It looked like something that was right up my alley. And after finally being able to see it at home one day, it definitely became one of those movies that I just absolutely loved. I bought it on Blu-ray and I've loved it ever since. This is a great movie that blends a lot of really great elements like horror and thriller elements or some suspense in this film as well, as well as being an action movie in a lot of ways. This movie does a really good job of being something that's pretty unique because at the end of the day, we've seen a million World War II films. Some really do stand the test of time. Some come out nowadays that end up being incredible. And then there's some that are just kind of okay. And so it's definitely a saturated market of films. And I love the fact that this one decided, let's go balls to the wall, make this a sci-fi horror film where these group of soldiers that are going to just do a regular routine mission or something that's definitely dangerous, maybe not regular and routine, but you know, they're going to do something that soldiers do. And when they arrive, they find out that there's some experiments happening, that the Nazis are experimenting on dead bodies. Then we start to get almost a little bit of a zombie-esque kind of vibe in this movie. It's not entirely zombies, but it's definitely something like that. And I really like the feel and the vibe of this film. I love the cinematography. I love the costume design, the set design, the locations that they shot on. Everything about the way that this film looks on a technical level, I think is really strong. Our two main stars in the film are played by Jovan Adepo, who plays our main character, Boyce. And then you have Wyatt Russell as the character of Ford, who's like the leader of the group, but he's a bit of an ass. You don't know how to feel about him all the time. He's clearly really really good at roles like that because obviously he just played John Walker in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and so he's definitely really good at those kinds of roles and uh, he definitely shines here. Very much feels like Kurt Russell in this movie. Uh, it's so easy to see his dad in him in this movie in particular. Uh, but yeah, the performances across this whole movie are really solid. You know, there's a mix of various languages in the film so there's some subtitles and then not subtitles and I just really thoroughly enjoy the way that the performances feel in this film. It's very tangible, it's very real and then you have this big over-the-top sci-fi premise that's going down because you know it throughout history there was definitely some discoveries of pretty crazy weird things that the Nazis were doing some experimentation that they were doing of course not a lot of it's very known to the public as far as what they were actually doing so I like the idea of a movie like this being able to just kind of have some fun with that idea and see maybe what they were kind of working on so of course this is a big over-the-top sci-fi film but I just like that premise so yeah on a technical level this is a beautifully well shot film with a lot of really great moving pieces and I love the way the film looks and you got the great performances that just make the film feel believable and on top of that you have a really great use of both practical and digital effects. This is one of those movies that just has a really great blend of all the things you need to make a really good movie. It keeps you on the edge of your seat and it keeps you engaged in what's happening. Now it does get a little bit slow at times and I'll talk a little bit more about that on my back end of the review but uh, let's go ahead and hear what my buddy Rashadji Reviews had to say about this one. Perez, what's the deal? Pickles is everything kosher. So our tit for tat saga continues, and uh, this time got me watching Overlord, one of my favorite movies of 2018, and uh, it's a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed, but I gotta say, second time watching it, not so much. So l let me explain myself. The first time I watched Overlord, I went into it completely blind. So this is one of those movies where if you've seen it and you have a friend that hasn't seen it, just don't even say anything about it. Just turn it on, let them watch it, I guarantee it'll fuck them up, because... It just, it goes in a totally different direction than you think it's going to go. You know, because it starts out as like this war movie. And it goes from a war movie to 
an action movie and then from action movie to a what the fuck? <laughs> like what just happened? So it's one of them joints. So the first time I watched it, totally blind, knew nothing about it, didn't see any trailers or anything. I just said play, I watched it and damn, yeah, fucked me up a little bit. Second time watching it, I, I still enjoyed it, but here's my thing about Overlord. I feel like with, with this premise, with what they did with it, I felt like they could have had more fun. You know what I mean? Like They, they could have had more fun with this premise and just went kind of balls to the wall crazy. So there was a movie that dropped in 87 called Dead Heat with Joe Piscopo and Treat Williams. That's one of them, them underground, low-budget <laughs> cult movies that a lot of people probably never heard of. But look it up. Off of my recommendation, look it up. There's a movie called Dead Heat that has a similar premise to this one. And it's a bad movie, but... When I say when you watch it, you'll never forget it because they just took it and went out there. They 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 went crazy with it. And it was a fun movie, you know what I'm saying? So to me, Dead Heat would have more rewatchability than an Overlord because I think at times Overlord kind of took itself a little too seriously and not just have fun with the absurdity of of um what was going on, you know what I mean? So yeah, so the whole thing we're creating with the serum that could bring people back from the dead. The special effects and everything, like how they brought the people back and those sequences, psh, on the money. Crazy. But, I mean, I just wanted a little bit more just insanity. Maybe because I grew up in such a zany time in the 80s, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like I just I wanted more just craziness. Just, just, just fucking run with it, you know what I mean? And that's one of the issues that I have with Overlord. But the main issue I have with the movie is the main character of Boyce. All right. Now, typically in horror movies, I'm rooting for the black people to make it out alive, even though historically we have not made it out alive a lot of times. But this is one of the few occasions where I'm rooting for the only black character to die. I hated the character of Boyce. Tell me if I'm tripping, Perez. I couldn't stand the character of Boyce. He got on my last fucking nerves. I have a thing about in movies like this where a character is just too good. When, when you're just too good, too good-hearted, just too goody two shoes, you know, like uh, <laughs> there's Captain America good. We used to root for Captain America, and then there's the too good to be true good, and that was the character of Boyce. He was just too fucking good, and he made some dumbass decisions in this movie. You know what I'm saying? One of them is when his boy was dead, you know what I'm saying? He just got shot, and here's the serum that he found in this lab where he's seen the monstrosities <laughs> of what happened to these people because of this shit, so he's not 100% sure what this serum can do. But he has an idea, but I'm going to give this to my boy and bring him back to life. Stupid. That's just one of them. I, I, I couldn't, <laughs> I wanted him to die so badly. You don't understand. I was rooting for him to die so badly, but instead Wyatt Russell suffered that fate. And by the way, he was real good in the movie too. Yeah, John Walker himself, Wyatt Russell is in the movie. And I thought he was the best character in here. I thought he was the character with the most edge, the best screen presence. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he could have fit in. With Dutch and them and Predator. He, he could have been part of that crew. Okay, you could have took out Shane Black and put in Wyatt Russell and Predator and it still would have worked. Okay, he, he's, a, he's a callback to the 80s badass that, you know, from, from that time. So, I like this character the best. Why, the Wyatt Russell character. I think his name was Ford. But, Boyce, I wanted him to die. And that's all I got to say about that. The villain in this movie, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Wagner? Wagner or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool looking, very cool looking, but I feel like they, they didn't give him a whole lot to do. He uh, He's not a memorable villain, except for the way he looked. Now, appearance-wise, yeah, he was menacing, he was nasty looking, I'm like, yeah. But they just didn't give him a whole lot, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> for a movie that I really did enjoy the first time, I didn't like it as much the second time, but I still did, I, I dug it, you know, I, I still dug it. So with that being said, I give Overlord, I give, I'll give it a B-. minus. You know what I'm saying? I'd give it a B minus. You know, st still a very enjoyable movie, but I just wish they could have got crazier with it. You know, when, when I watch it, I want to be like, God damn, that was fucking insane. And I did have those moments the first time. You know what I'm saying? But the second time, I'm like, damn, I, I, I just wish they would have just, you know, just really ran with that premise. Just ran with that idea. You know what I mean? Just just go crazy. Just take a couple of shrooms, do a couple of lines. You know what I'm saying? Have a couple of shots and just throw some crazy shit at us on the screen. People are going to shoot it anyway, so what? This is for people like myself that enjoys insanity. Give me that. Anyways, y'all, 
yeah, B minus is what I got for Overlord. Perez, thank you once again for having me on, bro. The floor is yours, man. What you got? A big thanks to Rashad for being here in this video. Always love hearing what you have to say about movies, man. And when I sent this to you, you were hyped on it. And then, you know, it's a little bit of a disappointment to hear that you weren't as crazy about it this time around. But I can totally understand. I mentioned earlier that I think there are some slower bits. And I think when I rewatch this film, you know, there are moments that I kind of want to breeze past. I won't skip over it because I really enjoy kind of the overall tone that those scenes kind of set for the film. And there are good scenes, but there are moments that it is a little bit slower in pace compared to the rest of the film. But that's really more of a nitpick because this is a film that I can genuinely say I love on a lot of levels. You know, it's just an exciting, fun movie to watch that keeps you on the edge of your seat. And if you show this to somebody who's never seen it before, it's a consistent ride of what the fuck is going on. And I think it makes for one of those really fun movies that you can show various friends and people you know that can definitely keep them engaged and get a really good reaction out of them. The only person that I've ever shown this film to for the very first time where I hadn't seen it was my mom and she was just having a blast with it. She had no idea what the movie was about. I just put it on and told her, hey, we're going to watch this movie called Overlord. And from the very first moment where things start to get crazy, she was just 100% hooked and it was great to kind of see her uh, react to the movie as time went on. So yeah, you know, this is going to be a quick short review. I really thoroughly enjoy this film. If you've never seen Overlord, I do highly recommend it. It's got a lot of really great elements. I think anybody who's a cinephile will be able to appreciate the way that this film is looks, the way that it was put together. Of course, there are things that can always be a little bit better as far as the narrative and some of the dialogue and maybe the pacing. But overall, I think it's done really, really well. I think it's an entertaining and fun movie to watch with a lot of really great promise to maybe even make another movie kind of like this or maybe in the same universe. I think they could do something else like that because I really enjoyed the feel and vibe of this one, but it doesn't need that. I'm not saying in no way, shape or form that, that this movie necessarily needs a sequel. But yeah, a big thanks to my buddy Rashad for being here in this video. Loved hearing your thoughts, man. Always a pleasure to have you in a video. You guys can find a link to his channel down below in the description box. So please do give him some love. Let him know I sent you. And for all of you guys, I do recommend checking out the movie. So if you've seen this movie, maybe you haven't seen this movie. Either way, comment your thoughts. Let me know what you thought about it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel here. I would love for you guys to be a part of the journey of reviewing so many movies and just whatever else I decide to do with this channel. A uh, big thanks to all of you guys for watching. Again, really genuinely appreciate it. And uh, yeah, like button, comment, subscribe. I think I said it all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.